So as many of you know, I'm a bit of a speedy fan, uh, and this week I was able to try on the new Speedmaster Professional white dial. Let's see what I thought of it. I'm Andy, and welcome to the English Watch. This channel is about me and my watch collecting journey, an amateur enthusiast with an eye for detail, helping like-minded individuals like you start your watch collecting journey now if you like this video why not give it a thumbs up and while you're there please subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes which these days are pretty rare anyway today i'm wearing a speedmaster uh, i'm wearing my 1996 speedmaster professional uh, this one's got the tritium dial so it's pre luminova which uh, went out in 1997 uh, so it's still got the nice vanillary patina uh, tr from tritium as the tritium depletes uh, but it's also on this nice red strap that I got from uh, APP Concept Paris which I paid for, I do actually pay for this one uh, I do get sent straps but sometimes um, yes even I the Mice English Watch has to pay for stuff um, I quite like it so no coincidence that there's a flash of red on the new Speedy uh, and I think red and the Speedmaster go pretty well. Uh, and it's fair to say, if you look at the tome of the Moonwatch only, it says it all really, doesn't it? So anyway, so I've been looking through the, uh, the, the Moonwatch only book, which I highly recommend any Speedy fan gets. And I guess what you'll notice is, you know, there's a multitude of dial variants over the years. Yeah, mostly black to be fair, um, but there is the odd white one, the odd white one in there. Now, if we sort of scarper forward many years, and you've got this one here in 2003, uh, it's from a, a Japanese department store, uh, Mitsukoshi, or Mitsukoshi, however you say it, uh, and this is a special edition, it's a white dial, only could be bought from their, um, their stores, but Many people have bought the dial and done a retrofit, so there's been some white dial speedies out there for a very long time. Now, the way that um, Omega have sort of marketed this one, uh, they say it's inspired by the uh, the suits of the astronauts, i.e. the white suits, the NASA classic suits, but also the Alaska project, so, and more specifically, the Alaska One prototype from 1969. You know, that those early signs were there. But yeah, get the um, Moonwatch only book. But I guess what you'll see is what Omega have done over the many years, and there's another one, this, this Speedy 45th, is they do many variants. I mean, it's almost a joke, isn't it, to, to a degree. Now, this dial had a bit more going on it than the one that's just been released. So it had full luminosity around the tachymeter and around the indices, you know, not just at the ends. And you also had the Snoopy, you know, just at, on the uh, 9 o'clock there love it or hate it, uh, I love it, uh, which I thought was pretty superb. So I really like that one. I, I was a bit sad that I didn't get to uh, get one at list. I'm certainly not paying over list. So that brings us on to um, this new edition. And yeah, you could argue that is the Speedmaster in need of a companion? It has many companions, um, but the absolute original, the Speedmaster Professional, the one that's looked the same since 1960, seven i think i can't remember the exact that, that date is about there um does it need another version you could arguably say well the submariner does does the submariner need another version there's always just the submariner but then when you look at the submariner date there's a dozen generational versions of that watch so it's not like omega doing anything different to any other brand and i think this new uh balance now black and white salt and pepper whatever you want to call it I think it's pretty exciting and the good thing about this watch is it's still in keeping with the the tall watch aspect of what made it brilliant in the first place so the high contrast you know the movement inside that new 3861 tank tough movement but what are some of the key uh, aspects of it that I like well this is a glossy white dial you know it's not one of those sort of opaline uh, dials it's very white, uh, inky white. You know, the indices in the hands are very black, a bit like the new uh, Rolex Explorer 2, where the 
absolute contrast between the white and the black is incredible. Uh, I think this watch presses a lot of buttons and I, I tried it on. Uh, I went to the Royal Exchange Boutique in London. They sent me an email and said, hey, we've got one in, do you want to come and see it? Yeah, sure. Uh, and this was on the day of launch. They said they had two in, they sold one, the other one they, they had to keep because they had to keep them for, for showing. Uh, and they said they've got some of the VIP clients that they have to uh, service before that. But you know, let's not kid ourselves, this is going to be a regular watch. Uh, you'll see these um, in, in the, the goldsmiths or the you know, watches of Switzerland or whatever it is, airports at some point. Probably not for a year or so. Um, so anyone that's out there now that's trying to bag one, you maybe make a bit of a money, bit of money on it initially. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll make your fees back. I'm not sure. And I certainly wouldn't recommend you went into it you know, with that with that mind. Um, I, I said to the guy at the time, I said, I really like it. Uh, do I need another Speedmaster in my life? I've got two already, plus a moon swatch that I've not shown you yet. Um, uh, so yeah, I've got an 861 movement watch. I've got an 1861 movement watch, uh, both Hesselite. Uh, I have looked at the sapphire glass version for some time and i think there's probably room in the collection for one and the fact that this one's now a white dial gives it something else so um yeah i think i could be tempted we'll see i guess when they call me down and say hey we've got one of the watches and i'll be like mm, i don't know because i still want that jlc green dial um don't know can't buy them all can you at the end of the day but you know sometimes you've got to say what the hell and just go for it i absolutely love this watch uh, i can very much see it in my collection as i said i put my name down um, now i did at the time as well buy what i ordered a new strap for my planet ocean which i normally wear on the blue uh, rubber strap now the new planet oceans that have come out this year not the new new generation but versions of the existing one and i tried all three variants which i'll do another video for i promise but they had these really nice uh, sort of waffly straps. So I said to the guy in Royal Exchange, do you have a blue one of these? So he, and he, they look, they get your watch up on their system and it's not something you can go and do yourself. And then they show you all the accessories that you can have with it. So we got my Planet Ocean up and then all the straps that would fit. And this, there was a strap there that I don't think it went on a particular watch. There was just a strap there, blue, white stitch. Oh, let's have it. Um, didn't ask him how much it was. I suspect it's about, I don't know, 250 quid or something, because I've already got a, a clasp. Uh, so when that turns up, obviously, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know I'll get on. Um, but yeah, I will do a video of those other Planet Oceans. They're worth looking at, for sure. Um, but yeah, in closing, White Speedmaster, mwah, love it. Um, yeah, but I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. And if anyone's seen one out in the wild, Certainly the boutiques have got them. The retailers, they're going to get them for sure very quickly, but not just yet. I suspect they'll just create that little bit of tension, that little bit of scarcity that, that we like at the moment. Um, but also, don't forget, Watches and Wonders early next month. You know, could be all sorts of things dropped there that we lust after. And all of a sudden, that speedy white doll whoosh, gone to the side. So it's always a risk, isn't it, going early? Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. A uh, bit of a bit of an off the cuff initial reaction, really. Um, but yeah, be interested to hear what you've got to say. So I'm Andy. This has been the English Watch. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.